Hey, what's going on? Meteorologist Mike Linden here. In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the basic features of the My Radar app and take you through what everything on the toolbar means as soon as you open up the app. Now, I'm doing this on iOS, but this is generally going to look the same across all of the platforms that we have available. We're going to start from left and work our way to the right. First, beginning with the location marker. Now, when you tap on the location marker like this, you're going to be prompted with three choices. So we'll start at the bottom here. The first, which is that crosshair icon. If you tap on that, it will center to where your current location is. So we're here at the My Radar office in Orlando, and it has centered to our location. If you zoom in, it will center to your zoom level as well. Let's tap back on that and go into the second option, the magnifying glass. You can tap on that and type in a location. So let's do New York. I should spell it right here. Let's do New York City. And it gives you a ton of different options, including points of interest as well. You tap on that and it takes you right to the location. In fact, notice how it maintained the zoom level. Let's do it again here. Go into the drop down. I'll type New York, New York. And there we go, centers right onto the location. Finally, in the location marker, the third option there, that little car, this is a premium feature that we will cover in another tutorial, but this is called Routecast, and we are so excited about this feature. With Routecast, you are able to type in a location, a starting location, and a destination, and the My Radar app will tell you what the weather is likely to be along your route. Again, this is a brand new feature that we're so excited about. Next. On the toolbar, we have the maps icon. This is going to give you the ability to change what the entire environment looks like in the My Radar app, whether you want a flat map, a globe shape, if you'd like to change the colors of the base map, or if you would like to go to the planet Mars and check out a map of Mars, all of those options are available to you. Next to that is that stack of cards. This is perhaps where you'll be doing most of your work in the My Radar app. This is the Layers menu, and within the Layers menu, you can totally customize your experience in My Radar, whether it be with the Winds layer, turning on the fronts, looking at live video from storm chasers, earthquakes, wildfires, and so, so much more. We will have another tutorial on the Layers menu as a whole as we break down all of those features individually. Right in the center of the app there on the toolbar is that Play button. This is the Video Portal, which will give you weather updates from our meteorology team, as well as live streaming coverage during big and significant meteorological events. There's video in Spanish, there's tutorials as well. So much more to explore in the video portal. On the right hand side here again on iOS, we have the rectangle with the upward pointing arrow. This is the share function. And what this enables you to do is to be able to share images or screenshots from the app or animations, shortened loops, whether it be a, a neat radar, radar view or the winds, whatever it is in the app that you would like to share. You can do that from here. You can send that to yourself on social media, save it to your device, really whatever you wanna do with it. Next to that, we have the little camera icon. This is My Radar Photos. This is a really neat feature where you are able to take and upload photos right to the My Radar app. Let's say you have a storm coming to you, you see a really picturesque shelf cloud that you'd like to share. All you have to do is sign up through My Radar Photos, snap a photo within the app, and then it gets posted to the map. Really, really neat. And that enables you to engage and interact with My Radar users all across the world. Finally, we have the gears icon in the bottom right. This is the settings menu, kind of all of the under the hood stuff, if you will. You can change between Celsius and Fahrenheit measurements here. You can turn on and off your notifications and totally customize those uh, for whatever weather event you would like to be notified of. You can upgrade to the premium features, restore previous features, or the previous purchases that is, and even contact customer support all within the settings menu. So that's a basic overview of what everything on the toolbar is. The great part about my radar is Almost all of the features in the app to keep you ahead of the storm are totally free. 
Now there are premium features into the app if you are a weather enthusiast or want to take things to the next level. We offer a free trial for you to give those features a whirl. And then from there, if you want to upgrade to the premium features, you can choose either a monthly option or an annual one. So be sure to check out our additional tutorials for more information to use the features in the app. Follow My Radar on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.